On Thursday, the best women golfers in the world will be teeing off at the U.S. Open in Southampton, New York. CBS News special correspondent James Brown is here with the story of a young pro striving to be among those elite players. JB, good morning. Nora Gale and Charlie, good morning to you as well. 19-year-old Ginger Howard is one of the youngest pro golfers on the Symmetra Tour, which is the qualifying tour that sends its top 10 money winners to the LPGA every year. And the story of this second-year pro is one of sacrifice, determination, and faith. I just kind of do this. At first glance, Ginger Howard seems like any other teenager. I'm going to take some notes from you. Oh, gosh. But with 13 years of golfing wow. experience under her belt, she has the confidence of a seasoned veteran at age 19. Boy, that just looks pretty. <laughs> My ultimate goal as a golfer is to become the first African-American to win an LPGA event. That's the goal? Yes. You let it go. But to achieve her goal, it takes an extraordinary family effort. Yeah. Yeah. Like that one? Ginger's mom, Gianna, works the overnight shift as a nurse to support the family of six. Her dad, Robert, left a retail managerial career to travel with Ginger on the minor league Symmetra tour. Where the crowds and purses are small, but her family's sacrifice looms large. Do you feel any of the pressure, how much they've sacrificed, how much they're pushing to make this dream come true for you? I'm reminded of it daily, uh, not because they, they tell me anything, because I remind myself. The dream started 13 years ago, the first time Robert Howard took six-year-old Ginger and her younger sister, Robbie, to the driving range as a babysitting chore. Soon, the local pro asked him how long the girls had been playing. Uh, about 15 minutes, and he was like, you want to take a look at him? I was like, why? He was, you know, Robert, they got some really good swings. Robert took a look and soon his chore became his passion. He recognized the potential and the talent in them, but, you know, they were my girls, my little girls, and I wanted other things for them. I wanted them to take ballet lessons and things like that, and, and he was taking them out to the golf range all the time. The rest is history. Ginger and Robbie won their first competition and many more after that. The family moved to Bradenton, Florida, so the girls could hone their skills at the famed IMG Academy. Ginger Howard from Bradenton, Florida. In 2010, Ginger became the first African-American female to compete in the Junior Ryder Cup. Last year, she turned pro. Mm -hmm. oh, there, there, never. And her father assumed the full-time role of handling her career. I'm her father, I'm her PR person, her manager, so I'm doing a lot of different things for her. It costs the Howards $85,000 a year to keep Ginger on tour. With no money to spare for a caddy or for air travel, Robert drives Ginger upwards of 18 hours to some tournaments. It's difficult being in the passenger seat and dad's driving those hours and you got to stay up with him. But her coach says it's worth it because success is only a matter of time. Ginger's been ahead of the game for some time now and her maturity has always been beyond the other girls her age, and it really shows on the golf course. I feel like it's definitely brought us together as a strong family. Ginger is also family, paving really. the way for her 17-year-old uh, sister, is. Robbie. So let me play the part of skeptic then. This isn't something that you two collectively want more than they want? No, uh, we believe that this is a, a God-given talent. This is not about me at all. It's about, you know, what my girls wanted to pursue and what they wanted to see themselves be able to give back at a later time in life. Ginger insists this is what she's meant to do. I'm very confident in myself, and I feel like I'm at a point now where nobody can bring me down. You know, the family of the devout Catholics, <clears throat> their faith served them well because mom battled cancer, which is in remission right now. They're homeschooled, and unfortunately, they turned down a scholarship, well, she did, Ginger, to a Duke University, Charlie. But uh, the coach says now is the time to capitalize on the talent. Wow. Remarkable young woman. Good. Character, class, and talent. So all they need is some sponsorship money. Thanks, JB. Mm -hmm.